We begin with that breaking news in connection with Jeffrey Epstein. His ex-girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, is now facing charges. Maxwell is accused of helping the late financier procure underage sex partners. U.S. federal prosecutors made the announcement last hour in New York. Today we announced charges against Ghislaine Maxwell for helping Jeffrey Epstein sexually exploit and abuse multiple minor girls from the period of 1994 through 1997. Maxwell has been taken into custody early this morning in New Hampshire and will be presented this afternoon before a magistrate judge in the District of New Hampshire. You will recall that the indictment against Jeffrey M. Epstein that we filed in July of 2019 charged Epstein with sexual abuse of young girls from 2002 through 2005. This case against Ghislaine Maxwell is the prequel to the earlier case that we brought against Jeffrey Epstein. The CBC's Stephen D'Souza has covered the Epstein case over the years and was listening to today's FBI news conference. A couple of things. One, that the investigation is still ongoing. There's always been uh, rumors and speculation about some of the uh, big names connected to Jeffrey Epstein and just what connection uh, Jelaine Maxwell has to them and what information perhaps she could provide to prosecutors, but also just uh, the nature of the crimes themselves. The fact what uh, prosecutors are alleging that Jelaine Maxwell knew exactly what she was doing, knew that these girls were underage when she recruited them, and they described a method that Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein had that they would attempt to befriend these girls uh, to seem like they were interested in their lives, to take them shopping, take them to the movies, to basically get them indebted to Jeffrey Epstein. And then that Maxwell herself would participate at times in the abuse, would try to normalize the behavior by the examples they gave were undressing in front of the girls and then being present while Epstein abused these girls. These are all the allegations prosecutors are making against Maxwell. That, in the, in the words of uh, the, the prosecutor there, that these are just unspeakable crimes and that Maxwell lied about it, specifically in a 2016, um, a 2016 civil matter where she was asked in a deposition under oath specifically about certain charges, whether or not she was involved with some of these girls, whether or not she knew some of these girls were underage, she always denied it. So that's why of the six counts she is facing, two of them are for perjury. And what's also interesting is that these charges relate to uh, allegations dating back to 1994 to 1997. Not specifically some of the other cases we've heard about in that um, Jeffrey Epstein was charged with uh, by the same prosecutors last year, which covered later periods and also charges that he was ultimately convicted of in Florida. And so it just goes to show you the wide range of charges that Jeffrey Epstein was facing and, according to prosecutors, the longtime involvement that Jelaine Maxwell had with him. And just watching to see uh, what more comes out in terms of documents uh, related to the court because a, a huge trove of documents came out relating to that 2016 uh, civil litigation and in, involving a number of people giving sort of a wider range, uh, a wider breadth of knowledge as to what Epstein was involved in and what Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell's involvement was. And so how much of that is tied into to this criminal case? Uh, we know that there was some speculation that it took this long for charges to be brought against Maxwell because prosecutors wanted to build their case against her uh, and that when uh, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself last year. The focus then turned primarily to Maxwell, but there is still an ongoing investigation, still a number of other names uh, that have been alleged to be tied to Jeffrey Epstein and what he did. You know, so many different threads, of course, Prince Andrew, uh, rumored to be involved in this as well. Prosecutors in New York have been trying to get him here for questioning, but, you know, different accounts of whether or not he's denied offering himself up for questioning or whether he's agreed and prosecutors haven't taken him up on it. You know, a bit of a back and forth with that. And so a lot of different threads here involved in this case. And so a lot of attention will be paid uh, whenever this, this story comes up.